Bevel in regards with hard ops has a couple of ways of approach. For example, I can tap into edit mode, press 2 in order to go into edge select, select an edge, press Q, and control click mark in order to activate bevel. We can press 1 in order to set it to default. We could even press 3, just like talking in the previous section, to turn it into a subdivision conversion. We can press 1 and we're back into using just it as a default bevel. However, we're setting this up on a vertex group in edit mode. We can also select these two edges and control click mark again. However, let's right click and instead of using mark, let's go under add modifier and let's just control click bevel, which will add a mo new modifier to this particular vertex group where I can press one to set it to default settings. I can roll the wheel to adjust my sections and let's just go for something like this. I can just tab into object mode and basically all the bevels that we're looking at at this point have been set up in edit mode and we can just control click the option for bevel in the Q menu in object mode and we're now adding an option or we're now adding a bevel for object mode for this shape so we now have three bevels as you can see in the modifier list in the bottom left. From here let's alt click to add a weighted normal on sharpen one of my favorite ways to quickly get to weighted normal however you can always go under add modifier and just click on weighted normal and they'll also add one for you. So let's just shift right click to place our cursor at this point on the surface and shift A to add a cube. Let's S Z in order to scale it down. And from here, we're just bringing in our shape and let's select both of these shapes and choose difference. So instead of having it on exact, let's use the F9 to change it over to fast. And from here, change it to an inset. And we also want to not keep the bevels or we maybe do want to keep the bevels. Had to think about that one for a moment, but we do want to bypass the sorting. So let's actually turn sort off, which actually will place it on another level. And we can just click to apply and press one to get this out of our, out of our site. So if we control click bevel again, we've added a, another bevel. So we now have four bevels added to the surface. And so we have this basically interacting with this particular area. This is a good exercise if you're looking to get familiar with hard ops and just bevels in general. It's just a process of stacking up the various types of bevels that are available to you non-destructively. So from here, we'll just use box cutter. And we see that because it was an inset, the normals are actually different with the surface. So an interesting thing about the normals that comes from inset or uh, basically solidifies that you could bring up solidify and adjust the solidification settings. But if we press four, we can turn this into basically a different type of solidify where it utilizes some settings. Let's see, let's double check that. Yeah, instead of using simple, it uses complex, which may result in normals actually orienting the correct direction, which is just interesting about the behavior whenever it comes to inset. You would think it's something that we would have on by default, but it is still experimental and fails in more situations than it succeeds in. So it is just one of those things that you should just get in there and give it a try. So at this point, we have a multitude of modifiers happening on our mesh, most of them bevels, but we do have a couple of booleans in the mix. From here, let's go under operations and talk about another way for us to add bevels, and that's through step. Just by clicking step in a non-destructive setting, it will add another bevel at 50% of the previous bevel. And this means if we begin cutting with box cutter, we're now cutting with a finer bevel than the previous bevel, so therefore the angle is actually failing. This particular test that we're demonstrating is a test of angles. So one of the important things with bevel is the ability to quickly change the angle whenever you're working with it. So just by holding alt and scroll, you're able to bring the bevel back to something a little bit more reasonable. And we saw that over in the top right, we were actually grabbing the wrong corner by accident. So that's one of the things that happens whenever you fail the game of angles when it comes to using the multiple bevel system and playing with multiple angles at the same time is it does keep you kind of constrained in a boxy format. However, it's a talk for another day whenever it comes to utilizing weight and just kind of breaking that, that conformity. But with this shape containing all these modifiers, we can just go in, press Q, shift click, ever scroll, and just press shift spacebar. And we begin just auto scrolling through this process. And we can just see all of these modifiers that we set up on this mesh. We're now up to nine modifiers and most of them are bevels. And we can see that all of them were able to play in tandem thanks to this little balancing act that really is 
more difficult to master than I let on. It's something that I believe that with a little bit of practice, it becomes something trivial, especially once you begin integrating the troubleshooting process into your work. However, these, this is the basic fundamentals of Bevel and just how you can interact with it inside of HardOps. However, even inside of Modifier Scroll, we have a relationship with Bevel. So if I press Shift Spacebar to just stop auto-scrolling, we can click on this dot to bring open the expanded UI. And if you were to control click any bevel modifier, we see that the settings that are most crucial to the bevel modifier are able to be modified inside of the scroller itself. So this is something that's new to hard ops and is present if you have the latest version installed. But it's one of those things that I have been meaning to get around to talk about, but just goes to show our level of commitment whenever it comes to supporting the bevel modifier inside of hard ops and the level that we're willing to go to as far as creating systems to manage it even during a troubleshooting scroll you can still get in and get intimate with your bevel modifier just as easily as if you press Control shift b and went into a helper exclusively dedicated to the bevel helper and of course keep in mind if these hotkeys are hard to remember just clicking on the hops button and the queue will list all of the hotkeys that are relevant for you to get the most balanced hard ops experience